This week in Storytime with Aunt Phil, more than 75 years ago, an Alaska legend died, but his legacy lives on in our state history. Yeah, Judge James Wickersham has had profound impacts on Alaska, from forming our first national park to our place in the Library of Congress. And as Laurel Downing Bill tells us, there are plenty of reminders of Wickersham's work today, if you know where to look. Judge Wickersham has one mountain, three creeks, two domes, subdivisions, and a ferry all named after him. Yeah, but his legacy goes far beyond his name. It's his work that he would do at the turn of the 20th century, Laurel, that would really, truly benefit Alaskans. Alaskans have a lot to be thankful for with Judge Wickersham. He emigrated from Pataka, Illinois, and his first place of business for his headquarters was in Eagle, which at the time was one of the largest settlements along the Yukon. He also made his way to Nome to try and sort out some mining disputes that were caused by a crooked judge and some of his cohorts up there. And then he's also credited with establishing, after in Unalaska, he discovered he didn't have enough people to hold court. He started doing traveling courts. He would eventually head north, though, to Fairbanks to publish the first newspaper there. He moved the headquarters to Fairbanks in 1903 after gold was discovered there by Felix Pedro. And he's credited along with E.T. Barnett for founding the town and convinced Barnett to name it after Indiana Senator Charles Fairbanks. And he did publish the first newspaper. It was called the Fairbanks Miner in that same year. However, only one issue of the newspaper was ever published. And then eventually he would try his hand at politics. In 1908, he was overwhelmingly elected to serve as Alaska's third delegate to Congress. And he served five successive terms during a very turbulent time when conservationists wanted to keep our resources away from the monopolists and others wanted to develop Alaska's resources. So we can also thank Judge Wickersham for adding Alaska to the Library of Congress. <laughs> While he was serving, he learned that the Library of Congress had no Alaska section. So he decided to remedy that by amassing more than 10,000 items to go into a bibliography of Alaska literature. And I don't know of any other single human being who has undertaken such a historical task as that. We can also thank Judge Wickersham for several bills that went through during his tenure, including the Alaska Railroad, which of course birthed the railroad town that became Anchorage. He also was responsible for the bill for the University of Alaska's creation and creating the very first national park in Alaska, then the Mount McKinley National Park. He also introduced the very first statehood bill in 1916. So a very lengthy and impressive resume, to say the least. Uh, when would this guy, you know, finally take some time off and retire? He retired from politics in 1932 and spent the rest of his life in his home in Juneau, where he died October 24th, 1939. And his obituary aptly read, Alaska's wick burns out, but his light shines on. And Judge Wickersham will always remain a very integral part of Alaska's history forever. We have a lot to thank Mr. Judge Wickersham for in our state. Yeah, that, that man got a lot done. He did. I wish he was still around. I know. <laughs> he knows how to do it.